Okay, so my name's Jonathan, and I'm going to teach you a special funny little trick I learned when I was back in high school, and still am in high school. It's called How to Drain a Battery on Your Friend's Calculator. And first off, you have to have a TI-84 calculator or more, or whatever, one that can make programs. And as you see right here, it says mine, it's a TI-84 Silver Edition, and it's what I have. Um, and this, uh, by the way, I'm not responsible for what anyone does in this Thing. If they tend to screw around with their friend's calculator and get in trouble, I, it's not my fault. I'm just showing you how to do a funny trick. It's a prank. And, um, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to be doing this. So this is how you do it. First, obviously, you turn the on button. Move it over here. Uh, I'm actually going to move to the floor for this. Or my couch. And hit the program. I have a bunch of on here already. It's how you make programs. Hit new. I am going to call it, I'm going to move it over here for a second, something really attractive, so it like, attracts your attention. Like, I'm going to call it the cool program, which, give me a second to type it out, it's my carpet for a second, um, there you go, oh no, not H. So yeah, it's, it sounds really tricky, but it's really actually quite easy, because there's going to be three lines of code, and they're like, not, they're very short, it's not like it's an extravagant program. And all it's going to do is drain the battery, so you're going to go to program. Hit, this is where the out, this is control, input, output, and that's if you want to execute another program. We're not doing that right now, so we're just going to go over to input, output. And you are going to go down to up, or up <laughs> to where, no, no, it's control, take the back, control. And you're going to go to label, nine. And I are going to hit one, or whatever number you want to name, 111. I would just do one to make it easier because the way it should be. Now you're going to go to input output, which is what it's going to output. You're going to hit display. And that just means it's lock and alpha. I should probably do this too if you really wanted to. Hit alpha uh, plus, which is the quotation mark, and do it again because double quotes is nothing. Hence, it's going to drain the battery. And then you want to go down to it, where it says control again. I believe the number is zero, and I'm going to, yeah, it's zero, it's go to, one. So what is going to happen, if you're wondering, if you're not a huge programming geek like me, <laughs> is it's going to go, and when the calculator is hit on the thing, the, not the thing, it's, it, when you execute the program, it goes label one, display, go to one, just keeps going back and forth. And congratulations, you just have a, a you just created a program, and now you have to do that on your friend's calculator because they're not going to want a program that's going to screw their calculator up. So this is how you do that. Okay, I am going to execute the program. First, show you what it does. No, yeah, it's called Cool Program. It's like, hey, you want to borrow my calculator? You program this little thing into it. You obviously know what it is. Just showed you how to do it, and you say. Oh, thanks for letting me use your calculator. And as you're letting him use your calculator, you've just executed the cool program. And congratulations, it's draining the battery to the calculator. See that little thing on the top over here? That means it's still working. Now, what you have to be careful about is that um, if you hit on, it's going to break, which means that it goes to the program. And just they're going to know, oh my gosh, she's completely punking me. So what you have to do is you say, hey, friend, um, um, make up a name, uh, Barry. Okay, Barry, um, I want to use your calculator. Can I borrow it? Because I forgot, literally, I left mine at home, really, you know, inside. I, I know where my heck mine is. It's going to be awesome. So, you say, okay, and he says, okay, you, and he calculates your, you calculate your, your stuff on his program. And then you, but that, as you're doing that, you're secretly making the cool program, or whatever you want to name it, funny, fancy, hella quality, good program, holy crap, I'm going to screw my friends up program. <laughs> you name it, um, so you name it that, um, and you execute it, and then you simply just take it out of its case and put it back into the container like this. So I'm just going to leave this over here. It's my basement right now. Nothing bad. And you're draining their, 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 their battery right now as we speak and say, Okay, buddy. I'm going to give your calculator back to you, and as it's doing that, you're literally just draining the heck of the battery. They come to school the next day like, What the hell did you do to my calculator? And you know what that means? You just punked it. And that's seriously, I mean... It's the funniest thing I ever actually did it back in someone in high school. I mean, it's not really... <laughs> it was funny. And, yeah. Well, needless to say... What the heck? 
Needless to say, I, I mean, I don't know if I got in trouble or not, but I mean, guess why you gotta be careful. Um, thank you for watching this video. I mean, that's just a funny little prank if you want to just drain someone's calculator battery. And I am Go Brewers One Two Three Four Five JMT, and hope you visit my YouTube channel constantly. Watch all the crazy videos that come with it, and thank you for my time. That is my calculator program that drains batteries.